According to a German physicist, where a cell exists, there must have been a pre-existing cell. Just as the animal arises only from an animal and the plant only from a plant, cell division is how the continuity of life is sustained. There are two types of cell division, mitosis and meiosis. We will first take a look at mitosis. Mitosis is crucial for a new organism to grow and once an organism is fully grown, it is responsible for renewal and repair. The first step is interphase, which prepares the cell for mitosis. 90% of the cell division is spent within this phase. Interphase consists of three phases. The cell grows during G1 and continues to grow and copies its chromosomes during S, and then it grows even more and completes final preparations for mitosis during G2. Once interphase is started, the cell must follow through and complete mitosis inside of chromosomes. Once the interphase is complete, the cell begins mitosis and enters prophase. During this stage, the DNA molecules progressively shorten and condense by coiling to form chromosomes. The nuclear membrane and nucleolus are no longer visible. Each duplicate chromosome appears as two identical sister chromatids joined together at their centromeres and all along their arms by cohesins. The mitotic spindle begins to form. It is composed of centrosomes and the microtubules that extend from them. The centrosomes move towards opposite sides of the cell. Metaphase is the longest stage of mitosis, often lasting 20 minutes. The centrosomes are now at opposite poles of the cell. The chromosomes convene on the metaphase plate. Anaphase is the shortest stage of mitosis. The cohesin proteins are cleaved and the two sister chromatids are pulled apart. At this time, each chromatid becomes a chromosome. Each chromosome heads to opposite ends of the cell, centromere first. The cell elongates as it prepares for the next step. During telophase, the two daughter nuclei form. The nucleoli reappear. The chromosomes decondense. Mitosis is now complete and cytokinesis begins. It is the process of splitting the cytoplasm resulting in two daughter cells. In animal cells, a furrow forms and the cell is pinched in two. In plant cells, a cell plate forms. Each daughter cell contains the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell, and each are identical to the parent cell's chromosomes. We will now move on to meiosis. It is very similar to mitosis, but with a few crucial differences. Meiosis is responsible for the production of a gamete that contains half the chromosomes of the parent cell. This gamete allows sexually reproducing organisms to develop from a single cell, the fertilized egg or zygote. The cell goes through the goes through interphase of G1, S, and G2 exactly like mitosis, but unlike mitosis, meiosis has two cell divisions, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. The result is four genetically distinct daughter cells. The first cell division, meiosis 1, is a separation of homologous chromosomes. The first phase is prophase 1, differing from mitosis only in the occurrence of the crossover of DNA molecules by non-sister chromatids. This is completed while hom homologs are in synapsis. Synapsis ends mid-prophase and the chromosomes in each pair move apart and align. The next stage is metaphase 1. The center zones are now at the poles of the cell. Homolog pairs are aligned on the metaphase plate. Both chromatids of one homolog are attached to the same kinetic or microtubules. Next is anaphase 1. The breakdown of the proteins that hold the sister chromatids together along chromatid arms allow homologs to separate. The homologs move to opposite ends of the cell. The sister chromatids are still together. Each half of the cells has the same number of chromosomes as the parent, but one or both chromatids include regions of non-sister chromatid DNA, and cytokinesis occurs. Meiosis II is the separation of sister chromatids. It begins with prophase II. During this phase, the mitotic spindle forms and the chromosomes, each still comprised of two chromatids, move toward the metaphase II plate. In metaphase II, the chromosomes are positioned on the metaphase plate as in mitosis. The chromatids are not genetically identical. Each chromatid is attached to the kinetic or microtubules extending from opposite poles. In anaphase II, the proteins holding the sister chromatids together break down and the chromatids move towards opposite poles as individual chromosomes. Telophase II in cytokinesis is the final step. Nuclei form. The chromosomes begin decondensing and cytokinesis occurs as in mitosis. The result is four daughter cells that are genetically different from each other in the parent cell, and each cell contains half of the chromosomes of the parent cell. 